guys, Glockguy226 here, and as you guys seen, we are going to be checking out a new holster for my Ruger LCP2. Now before we get into that, let's go ahead and safety check the gun, and I do have an empty magazine in here, so um, as you guys can see, chamber's empty, mag's empty, we are good to go. Now from the little video clip you guys seen before this, this holster is from Renaissance Firearms, very, very reputable company. They're doing a lot of big things here in the gun community. So I was really honored when Chip, the owner of Renaissance, hit me up and wanted to make me a holster to have here on the channel. Now, I bought this Ruger LCP2 eh, probably about six months ago, somewhere in that ballpark, and it has been a pretty good little gun for me. The reason I decided to go with this was I just really needed a small gun that I could conceal somewhere else besides in the waistband and to be completely honest i'm pretty new to the whole mouse gun thing i've just never really been into them but they definitely have their place in the concealed carry world i wouldn't recommend carrying this as a primary carry every single day but there are times and there are places where this comes in handy well let me go ahead and show you guys what ships with the ruger lcp2 and this is the holster that Ruger gives you from the factory and it's really cool they give you a holster to begin with um, not a lot of companies are willing to give you a whole lot of anything extra so it was neat that they did ship this holster with LCP2 but as you guys can see it's basically like an Uncle Mike's holster real soft it's just not something that I really trusted now I did use that I did carry it in my pocket I think once or twice from the whole time I've had this it really doesn't see a whole lot of action as far as carry guys um, really the main reason I even got this to carry in my pocket was those situations where for me at least say I have to dress up which isn't a whole you know it's not too often I don't have to wear a suit and tie nothing like that but those times that I do have to dress up and wear say my shirt tucked in um, dress clothes and I can't get away with carrying inside the waistband I want to be able to carry a firearm I've gotten so used to it I try to carry every single day and for the most part I do that unless it's breaking the law in some way which I don't do that so I wanted a nice little you know decent little gun um, it is what it is guys it has worked for me so far so I can't knock it too much but I wanted a nice little gun with a nice holster I spent some time looking for holsters for the LCP2 and I just really didn't find anything I liked from a reputable company so I kind of just put it on the back burner well, Chip from Renaissance hit me up, wanted to know what kind of holster I wanted to have here on the channel, and right away I thought, you know, ding, 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 Ruger LCP2 pocket holster. And guys, I am very, very impressed with this rig. When I first got it, and I'm new to pocket carry, okay, so when I first got it, I was like, man, you know, that thing looks really big to have in your pocket. And um, after wearing it and trying it out, this thing is perfect. Um, I couldn't have asked for a better size of a holster. And overall comfortability is great so a little bit about Renaissance firearms guys they are out of Arlington Texas he's been doing a lot of really big things here in the YouTube community as far as the gun community goes um, the Yankee Marshall huge huge YouTube channel he's been getting a lot of holsters from chip at Renaissance um, Jonathan over at tactical toolbox also has a great review on his holsters from Renaissance firearms so I was really really excited when chip wanted to make me a holster to have here on the channel but back to the holster guys um, let's go over some of the features of this holster now like I mentioned this is a right-handed in the pocket holster and a few things that are really cool about this first off is the actual kydex now from a distance it may just look like your typical black kydex but this is actually a leather finished kydex and the kydex is meant to look that way it's not leather wrapped which I kinda like um, I have had some holsters that are material wrapped and guys it doesn't last very long if you do carry every single day but um, I was really excited to go with this and Chip has a wide wide variety of different Kydex patterns and I kind of wanted to just go with something simple but also something that had a little bit of class to it and this was exactly what I got out of it so overall um, fit and finish of this holster is great perfect perfect retention um, I've gotten some holsters with even adjusting the retention it's just not the smoothest draw or it's it's not a very positive um, click in there but as you guys can see this isn't going anywhere and it draws extremely easy so everything about this is great and one thing with carrying in the pocket 
you don't want to be fidgeting around too much. Um, you know, if you carry inside the waistband, you should be able to draw your gun relatively fast. And it should be the same way if you carry in the pocket. That's something you should be practicing. So if you get a crappy holster, guys, it's not going to make it very easy to draw that gun out of your pocket without the holster being stuck to it. With this holster, I've had no trouble whatsoever, and I will roll some footage in to show you guys how I draw this from concealment. So overall fit, finish, retention, like I was saying, is great. Um, as far as the edges go, they are smooth as could be. Everything is perfectly rounded. I've had no trouble whatsoever um, with the overall finish, guys. I'm very, very impressed. And I actually have another holster on the way from Chip for my Bodyguard 38, which is a revolver. And I'm very, very excited to get that. We're actually doing something a little more unique than this one here. And I'm really excited to have it on the channel. So a couple features of this holster are obviously that hook there. And what that does, it is pretty much made to form around your leg. So let's say this is in my pocket like so, and this is my leg. That hook just forms right around your leg, which makes it extremely comfortable, guys. So don't let the size of this fool you. Like I said, when I first opened this up out of the package, when I received it in the mail, I kind of thought, man, that's a big rig to have in your pocket all the time. And what's kind of cool is when this sits in your pocket, it almost looks like a wallet. You don't get the whole imprint of this here and the gun shape. You just kind of get a square imprint. And it does look a little bigger than most wallets. I give you that. But it really doesn't look like, you know, I think most people are going to overlook it. It doesn't look like a gun in your pocket. Now, another cool feature of this holster, you guys may have been wondering what this big circle here on the side is. And as you can see, it sticks out of the holster quite a bit. Well, what that is, it's called a thumb push. So as this sits in my pocket, up against my leg like so, when I go to draw this out, I get my grip on the gun. I use my thumb to push on that as I pull out to make sure I don't pull my holster out with my gun when drawing it. Now, I do like that feature a lot. I'm new to pocket holsters, so I really wasn't you know, too sure how all this worked. But now that I've got it down, I've practiced it, um, I'm very, very happy with the overall features of this holster. Now, one of the things that I do is I, 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 utilize, I utilize this hook. Not only is it for comfort for me, I like to use this hook to catch the edge of my pocket when drawing this gun. So as this sits in my pants like so, you know, face down right now, when I go to draw this, I get my grip, I pull it out almost at an angle, and this hook here catches the edge of my pocket and then kind of rests right there in my pocket. So when I go to reholster, it's simply put it in, drops back down in my pocket. So guys, my experience with this holster from Renaissance Firearms has been nothing but great. Like I said, it, it definitely exceeded my expectations. I wasn't sure what to think. Now, most companies out there have either have a decent name or they don't, and there's a lot, a lot of Kydex companies out there, guys. I have a tote full of holsters back here that I can honestly tell you it can be a gamble when ordering from a new company. That's why it's so nice to have these YouTube channels that do reviews to let you guys know what gear's good, what gear's not. And um, the companies that I've decided you know, to run here lately, Spider Concealment, Renaissance Firearms, these are all companies that are very well-priced holsters and they're quality holsters. You get all too many companies out there that are more worried about getting your money in their pocket than actually giving you a quality piece of gear that's gonna last and it's gonna work. And these are the same companies, guys, that if you have trouble, hit them up. They want to figure out why you're having trouble with your holster. Or they want to give you another holster to replace that if you are having trouble. You want to deal with companies that aren't going to say, screw you, you're on your own, when something, you know, shit hits the fan, basically. So, overall, guys, Renaissance Firearms holster, I absolutely love it. And um, we're going to be having another review on my other holster as soon as that comes in. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. Please sub to the channel if you haven't already, guys. Have a good night.